Hi everyone, this is Fatma from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic wallpaper theme for Windows 10. So the first thing you want to do is you want to collect all the images that you want to use in your wallpaper theme. The images can be PNG or JPG files but they can be a mix of both. You can use either PNG files or you can use JPG files exclusively. Once you've got all the files, you need to rename them and I'm going to show you how you can do that. This is my collection of um, images that I'm going to use for my wallpaper theme. All these images are flowers, so I'm going to name my theme flower. Now the trick here is to rename the files so that there's no spaces in them and that they have a sequential name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name the first image flower1. You can use an underscore where you want to use a space. Then I'm going to name the second image flower2 and I'm going to do that for all the other images, but I'm going to um, increment the number at the end. You should do the same. You can name them whatever you want, but make sure that they have a sequential number at the end. So that's the images sorted out. Now what you need to do is you need to create a JSON file. You can get the code for the JSON file from the link in the description of this video. Copy it into a new notepad file, but you can't use it just yet. I'm going to show you the edits that you need to make first. So the first edit you have to make is for this first line here. That's images zip URI. Um, you want to replace file and this path after it with the path to the folder that you've put all the images for your theme in. Make sure that the path starts with file colon and don't use any backslashes between the directories. Use a forward slash. The next thing you need to change is the value for image file name. So I've used the generic image and an asterisk.jpg. What you want to do is you want to replace image with the file name that you gave it before. I used flower, so I'm going to add flower. The asterisk is going to represent the number that follows the file name. So it's image 1, image 2, image 3, image 4, or in my case it's going to be flower 1, flower 2, flower 3. All of my images are JPGs, but if you're using PNGs, you can replace JPG with PNG. And now the last edits that you want to make are down here in the day image list and the night image list. Um, replace this 1 and 2 with the number that comes in the file name for the image that you want to use for daytime. So I'm going to explain that a bit. I have this image here called flower4. I want this image to be used during the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this 2 here with 4. And I have another image here called flower3 and I'm going to replace the 1 over here with 3. What this is going to do is it's going to use the images that are named flower4 and flower3 and for the daytime. For the night image list, I want to use the number 1 and 2 files here. So I'm going to replace the 3 and the 4 with 1 and 2. And after that, just save the file with the JSON file extension. Now that's everything done. And now we're going to download a free open source app called WinDynamic Desktop. So when you run the app, you are going to see this import from file button here. Click it and select the JSON file that you created before and allow it to download files. This takes a little while, but once it's done, your um, dynamic wallpaper theme is going to show up here. Select it and it's going to be applied through this app. So this theme can only be used with this particular app. There are other apps out there that, that you use a dynamic wallpaper on Windows 10, but they use um, different methods to do that. And this app and the JSON file that you create won't work with them. I'll see you later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.